everyone welcome back to my channel i thought i would show you what i have been doing with my scrap box to try and get it a little bit under control so i showed you in the last video what it looked like in absolute chaos <laughs> and i have been chopping down my papers let me just move this it's quite a big box this is a smala i think that's how you say it a smala box it's a box it comes from ikea it has a swedish name i'll put it in the description below anyway so i put all of my border strips in the background here all of my larger pieces are here the ones that i didn't want to cut down like my mixed media ones because i might not use them on cards i might use them in my art journal or for other things um then I've got smaller strips here and then ones that are kind of more squarish or like shorter that wouldn't do a whole border I've just popped down the side here and it, as well as looking neater it's actually really a lot easier to just flick through and see if there's a colour that I want to die cut out of or a pattern I want to use or something like that. And then for the really large scraps that I had, because most of them were smaller than six by six, because if they were six by six or, you know, five by five, basically anything smaller than five by five, I cut into A6 um, mats. They're not exactly A6, they're just under. So if I was to, sorry, my camera's auto focusing. Um, if I was to lay it on a card, there would be a little white border. Not very much, but enough to make a little accent. So it's a very small border, but um, that's how I like to do my cards. So I cut those down. That took me a little while i've had a few guillotine injuries <laughs> but i think it was worth it so um some of them i cut down to have a little bit more of a border if um the scrap was just slightly too small or quite often i'd cut like shapes out so um i'd have like a little bit missing from the side so i just made that one that would have a wider map so this is my a6 ish <laughs> pile <laughs> that's what i call it um and then from all of that, I had some leftovers. So I will go through these and decide what I want to do with them. Some of them, like these little ones, I might just stamp sentiments onto and leave them in a box. Some of them I might throw away. Um, these little things here, I cut the, um, oh, what's this called? You know, the branding strips that you get on pattern paper and uh, they have like the circle in the middle for hanging up the, the pad I just cut them at an angle and make a little banner again that could be a sentiment strip on a card or I quite like to use them in my journals um, you know or in my planner or something if I ever do a paper planner these days which I pretty much don't but I used to use them in my planner and I would just like staple them onto a side of a page just as a decorative element with maybe with some washi tape or something so um I might also punch shapes out of them so uh, I had a few odd shaped what's the word odd shaped scraps <laughs> and some of them had writing on so I cut the writing out and I will put that in my sentiment box. Other ones I had um, patterned papers that I'd coloured and I just punched stars out of them. Um, I, to be honest, when I get to tiny scraps, unless it's a colour that I use a lot or I particularly like the pattern of, I just chuck them away. Well, by chuck them away, I mean recycle them. But um, I was just gonna show you my little box of pretties. So um, if I punch out little shapes, I've got a few punches that I like to use. I've got these circle ones, which I think look like paper confetti and they look really nice if you sprinkle them in a background of a card. I've got tiny stars, so I'm gonna put them in here and there's all different colors. Um, you can use them as shaker bits in a shaker card. And um, 
I quite like to do black and white because then I'm not bothered about the other side of the paper that doesn't have anything on it. But if you are, you can just ink the back of them. It's easier to do before you punch it out, but I don't do that be unless I specifically know the card that I'm going to make because I don't know what my colour scheme is going to be. Um, but yeah, I just thought that that was a really cool way to use up some scraps and to get my scrap box in order so I thought I would share it and this is literally all I've got left to deal with so I'm gonna have a journaling session later on see if I use any of these up because most of them are a bit too small to use on a card so I will probably just stick them into my journal or make like a patchwork background on a card um, with all these little scraps these type things are great for um, putting along sentiment strips just to have a little pop of glitter yeah there's all sorts I love these patterns oh the other thing I like to do is um, use these little scraps for ATCs because they are the perfect size and I also like to make self-care cards which is basically an ATC that's got pattern paper on the back and then you write a little message on the front um, either to yourself or someone that you're going to gift them to so like um, you could write if you're having a bad day don't forget to reach out to your friends and just little messages like that to remind you what to do when you're not feeling great um, let me see actually if I have one to show you because I think this is such a cute little gift this is my self-care box <laughs> it's covered in stickers yeah so I've used washi tape on this one and this has got a journaling topic idea and it says when you are complaining or frustrated or stuck or worried or fretful or fearful write down a list of 25 things that are more important than whatever is going on right now that has got me in an upset state and that's literally some washi tape this one was some scrap paper and I just um, put journal around the words this one was some more scrap paper this one scrap paper with a bit of glitter on it there's some that are really patchworky but I can't remember if those were my ones I yeah here look I just put patterns together that made me happy um, yep that one I just like the two patterns so I stuck them on there it's just to decorate the back of the cards really so that you don't see what you're going to get before you pick it up but yeah this is my self care box if anyone's interested in this I, I guess I could um, do a video on it but um, I made these last Christmas for my two best friends as a gift and I hope they like them <laughs> um, but yeah I just got a squishy ball and stuff in there and some smelly candles which I don't light anymore but I still like the smell of them so yeah that's my ideas for using art scraps and keeping your scrap box under control so I'm gonna have a little play oh I also use oh, let me get my card these two cards I made from scraps this was a border strip that I got in Poundland kit um, this and I just put some of that thin gold washi tape that I bought from Tiger the really thin ones but in gold and I just cut out some words from a background piece of paper edged them with an alcohol marker and some stickles and that was the easiest card in the history of the world and this one I inked the background I used this little strip of scrap it was literally just a cut off and I just used that tiger tape um, these two colors from the tiger tape packs and some stickers and my stickers weren't exactly the right color so I just colored them in with my pro markers to make the purple match because it was more of a blue and if I show you just quickly sorry about my squeaky chair but um this is how I store my embellishments 
and because this card is purple I pulled out my purple box and I just fished through here to find something that I like so that would work with my card and I went oh no that's too blue that looks better but it's still too blue that's too pink you know you just keep going until you find something you like and you literally just pick and stick and you don't have to do any stamping they're really quick cards they're good for building up your stash and they're also good for um, making you it's fun because you're just playing with little pieces and putting things together you don't have to think about anything technical so when I'm always stressed out and I can't always stressed out when I'm stressed out I always just do this because there's less things to worry about I'm literally just picking and playing I don't have to bother with stamping if I don't want to although in this one I did ink because I fancied it um, but yeah you just do whatever you're in the mood for so you get to play and have a little bit of craft therapy without all of the stress of getting all your supplies out and you're using up your stash and you could seriously make so many cards from your scraps so many different projects it's worth using them up anyway that's enough for me i feel like i'm what's the word scottish craft would say blathering but i don't know what the southern english Babbling. <laughs> I'm babbling though. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.